Hey YouTubers, I haven't made any videos in a while, so I figured I'd do one now while I have some time. Um, Merry Christmas, uh, it's Christmas Eve right now as I'm filming this, and this is my new Rough Green Snake. Um, I figured since there aren't that many videos about them on YouTube, I thought I'd make one, just to help out some other people who might get one, or were thinking of getting one. Um, these guys are North American natives. They are unique, well not really unique, but like rare among snakes in that they only eat insects unlike a lot of others that eat rodents, lizards, vertebrates uh, these guys all thrive on stuff like crickets, roaches um, slugs, earthworms, basically any soft-bodied invertebrates which is pretty cool since I raise roaches and others um, right now he's only about I'd say a couple inches over 20 I have them in a 10 gallon tank with a infrared heat emitter and just a regular fluorescent bulb. A um, the thing about them is unlike most other snakes, since they don't eat um, vertebrates, they can't really get calcium into their diet that much. So a lot of people um, say they need UVB lights, which I figured... Um, I might as well get one later on, maybe sometime this week after Christmas. Um, just, well, it can't hurt to have it. And if they do need it, then yeah, great. Um, a thing about them is that they do require some dusting of their insect uh, prey, maybe like once or twice a week, dust it with calcium vitamin powder. And then that'll help them grow and get um, develop their bones. Another thing is that they don't really grow very big. I have them right now in a 10 gallon tank. And these guys top out maybe 2 to 3 with like the maximum size was 4 feet. So if he gets um, like maybe 3 feet, I'll probably upgrade him to like a 20 gallon tank. And since they like to climb, it's a good idea to get something maybe like a 20 high versus a 20 long. Uh, 20 long is what they usually uh, use for reptile tanks. The highs are mostly for fish. But either way, it's still the same thing. Just taller versus longer. Um, they like to have a lot of like plant cover. So right now, these are all the plants they had at the store. He actually knocked this one down. Um, they're held up by suction cups. I'll, pro I'll stick it on later. And I'll probably add some more plants while I get that UVB bulb. Maybe stop by like the dollar store and get some more plants. And the thing is that the more plant cover you provide, the more they actually show themselves, which is kind of ironic somewhat. But yeah, I guess they'll feel more, more comfortable if they have cover, so they'll be more open to showing themselves up. Right now he's just hiding since I just got him today. I went into the pet store to actually get a white tree frog, but I ended up going home with him and something else. Um, I might make a video about that uh, later on. Um, some other things, they do kind of like it sort of um, maybe in the upper humidity areas. Um, anything over 50 is pretty good. Right now my house averages about 50-60% humidity, so I just, I'll just i probably spray them once a day and that's enough to keep the humidity up. Uh, they don't like it really wet because they tend to develop some kind of skin fungus if you keep them like always wet. So it's a good idea to um, make sure that after you spray it, the tank has time to like dry off. But not get too dry, just so there aren't any like super wet areas for them to rub up on and stay on. And they're actually an arboreal snake, so that's why I mentioned the 20 high. It's a good idea to place a lot of like branches, plants for them to climb up on and they'll do that. They don't really spend that much time on the ground. Maybe if you put some feeder insects in there they'll hunt them down. But anything besides that they'll just stay up in the trees. Um, they're not really a snake that's meant to be handled. I mean they don't bite when you handle them and they, they're not very skittish either but I guess it stresses them out since they're a tiny snake compared to others and if you want a snake that you can handle, just try getting maybe like a corn snake, ball python, king snake, that kind of thing. They're, those are more um, appropriate maybe for, to be handled. And these guys are mainly just display animals. 
Uh, I tried feeding him today and he ate um, one um, roach and that was about it. I guess he's not really used to being tong fed yet. So I'll try again after, maybe like the day after tomorrow. I'll give him a day to rest up since I just got him. I'll let him get suited and comfortable in his new enclosure. And so yeah. Oh, and also make sure they have a water bowl. A lot of times they'll drink the drops off the leaves after you spray them, but they also do like to drink a lot. And so that's just it's always good to just provide a water bowl. Uh, so that's probably it. And let me show. Let me try to film some more. Um. There's his body. Let me see if I can find his head. I'm not sure if you can see that. This camera won't focus. But yeah, there's his little eye and his head poking out from behind the branch. But yeah, so since it's nighttime, his um, light actually went out on its own because it's on a timer and I put it back on. I guess I disturbed him while he's sleeping. So yeah, I'll let him rest up right now. Also, the interview is pretty funny. You guys should check that out. Peace.